So, hello there. I'm Riku. This is a little bit weird, but I really wanted to start doing some art videos because that's sort of like my major and what I want to do. So, yeah, here we go. Today I'm going to talk about feeling insecure about your art. So basically every artist who really wants to improve their work goes through this and it's not something that you can just skip. And you'll find this at all sorts of different phases in between short intervals of Yay, I feel really good about myself. But if you're really working to improve, you should be constantly noticing new things to improve. Which is part of what makes art so challenging and part of what makes art so kind of painful, I guess. But being overly insecure about your work can really stop you from achieving your full potential. Obviously, you're never going to get followers if you never post your work or post your work consistently. I know I've posted my work online many times before, but it's like every once in a while I'll post for like a month or so and then I'll just make a new account or something because I get nervous. But this time I think I'm going to stick with this. Being insecure can also stop you from wanting to take on the challenges of things you need to do. Like not wanting to draw hands or men or both or anything other than human women in my case. And it can really, really, really sort of like slow down your potential and speed at improvement because it's much quicker though painful to learn a new skill and become somewhat proficient at it than to master something you've already been doing. Like you could work 20 hours and get pretty okay-ish at hands compared to never drawing a hand before. But to like really master something like drawing a face could take thousands of hours and it's going to be the same for like hands and stuff of course, but it's better just to get all your bases covered and to try to have sort of an even level at all the skills you want to obtain. I also know people who like being insecure or hearing bad things from like their art teacher or something like, oh, you're not meant to be an artist just in like middle school or grade school or early on really sort of muddles them up and makes it so they're not able to do something that they like truly enjoy and they probably had some potential and because they're hard workers they're just easily discouraged at such a crucial age. I think that art teachers are this important way into art for most people. It's sort of like you're an enabler. You're allowed to do this thing that people just find they're told not to do by their parents or society. Not really for most people flat out like, no, you can't be an artist, but like, eh, it would be better if you were an engineer or a doctor and why do you have to do this and all that? It's just at a very subconscious but important level, people sort of impress these horrible feelings on others and maybe they're right for some people but it can really stop some people from reaching their full potential than if they had had people who were completely supportive around them because I think it's almost worse when people are just partially supportive because when people are flat out like no you can't do that you find some inner rage or courage to just sort of like move on and try to do it anyway but when people make you happy you don't want to disappoint them and go off and do something they they think is bad for you personally i have a lot of trouble doing finished pieces i think you'll notice it in the speed paint because like i think my sketches are pretty dang decent as well as like my studies and stuff but when it comes to actual finished inked pieces and like coloring and all that i'm not that great I'm an okay painter, but I'm nothing special and I don't really want to work at that skill because I want to do animation. So I do it more as like a hobby or like a relaxing thing. But what I really need to do is just do finish. 
uh, cell shaded stuff. I've been putting off because I feel really insecure about that and I don't think I do a very good job when I do it. But the problem with that is the only way to get better at it is to actually do it. You know, like you can't learn to ride a bike if you don't actually ever get on a bike because you're just bad at riding bikes because you don't ride bikes. It's a weird paradox and you need to do something to get you started. And I notice this in class a lot too. When it comes to gesture and stuff in my figure drawing class, I usually finish first and I usually do a pretty good job compared to the other students. But then when we do the whole class, three hour long finished pieces, my stuff looks like complete crap. So I need to sort of balance myself out because when you have that type of an imbalance, it's like, how are you gonna sell yourself? Even though I wanted to do animation, chances are I'm not going to get into it right away and I'm going to have to do some sort of illustration or something. And to do illustration you need finished pieces. And my school doesn't really support illustration or animation. All they care about is contemporary fine art. So I'm kind of on my own on that end. I'm not going to get any drawing assignments where they're going to ask for a finished piece. And then I keep getting... I think overly praised because my starts are just pretty good because that's all I focus on. <laughs> but if they actually if they asked me to actually finish something, I wouldn't know what to tell them. I think I'm pretty worried about my future too, which makes it harder for me to go all out because at school we're mainly focused on stuff that's not drawing minus figure drawing and stuff that doesn't have anything to do with commercial art because they don't think commercial art is real art. And I've been told that a lot by some of my instructors that what I'm doing is like not real art and that I'm wasting my time and that I'm a sellout. And that's kind of disheartening, I'm not gonna lie. And it doesn't really make me wanna be there or work any harder. All I can do is sort of fight on my own when I get the time. But it's hard because all the stuff that's honestly a different major like history or something would be more related. It's kind of like weird how unrelated all the stuff I'm doing is as an art major, but that's the card deck I get to play with. I think that being insecure just... Everyone has a different reaction to it. People who are probably the best off in this type of society are the people who get very aggressive when they're insecure. But for me, I sort of like freeze. I'm not sure what to do, I'm petrified. I end up stuck in my room laying in my bed for hours without actually getting anything done just because I can't decide on what to do. <laughs> but that's never really the answer. You have to do your best to get up and do at least something. Draw something, do some homework. Don't don't just sit there, that's bad. <laughs> or don't don't distract yourself with like Netflix and stuff unless you're doing something productive while doing it. Like I had a homework assignment where I had to make several hundred pieces of origami. And I was definitely watching Netflix during that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Don't be, don't be so afraid that it makes you become what you fear. Because I know what I fear is someone who can't do what I want to do. And then by just sitting there and not doing what I want to do, I'm not doing what I want to do. So it goes back to sort of like that endless cycle of insecurity and you just have to push through it, get a coffee or something, whatever helps. But you have to take that first step, and then after you take that first step, you have to try and just stick with it. And it's going to be very painful at first, and you're probably not going to like it for like the first whatever period of time or so, but it's just something you got to do if you want to get out there, if you want to like really experience the world or improve at something. So my hopes for this channel 
Uh, I'm going to do more finished pieces and I want to really sort of, I don't know, almost talk to you guys and explain some of my thoughts from watching other things. Probably not direct commentary on like specific videos, but like I've been watching a lot of art videos throughout the past like four years or so. And I think I have some opinions and some thoughts on how people who haven't quite reached my level yet can zoom up and do it faster than I did. And if that helps someone, that's good. On my end, I think it's nice just to be able to share my thoughts with someone. So, hello there. Welcome 